It has been 13 years old this year, and we uh, pray that the next years will see us do even more. We started with six children in 2007. As we speak, we have 47 of such children here. We have children from all over Ghana who are here. Though we have six from northern part of Ghana, two sets of triplets. You will see one set of them is the one, the one, the one over there, and we have a, a, a grown-up ones who, who will be about they are 13, 14 years. And then we also have others from all parts of Ghana. We have one from the village that you came from, Jahaze, Jinjin uh, and all over. We provide shelter, we provide clothing, we provide education. So we have a school here from nursery right through to here we will call it JHS Junior High School. Then they will move on to uh, uh, Senior High School. We have seven of these 47 in senior high school. Two of them are in the first school, the first secondary school in Ghana. And that was established in 1876 by the people called Methodists. And it's, it's one of the noblest schools in Ghana. We have two of our children uh, down there. And we have two also in one of the best girls' schools in Ghana. It's also called the boys' school is in Fancy Film. The first school is in Fancy Film. And the girls' school that our girls are is also called in Fancy Man. So it talks about a, a, a tribe in Ghana where we have in Fancy people. Uh, when we're in Ghana, we have the girls, we have the Evers, we have the the uh, uh, the guy, the guy is, uh, then we have a group called Mfansi, and this this is the other. We also provide healthcare, so we have a miniature clinic here that we have qualified nurses taking care of, so food, education, health, and shelter, clothing. And we also have recreational uh, 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 gadgets for them to enjoy themselves uh, for, 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 for what we call le leisure. Uh -huh. Because of what we want to do, at the moment we are putting up new structures to absorb more of these children. But we want to have a hundred at any given time. And so we are putting up five more of the places that they will sleep, they will stay and be cared for. Hopefully that next time when you come around, you will come and see that the place is developed and you will be, see a lot of them. We have a little challenge and that is for what is hanging on our necks, the, the coronavirus thing, the Department of Social Welfare, a department from which uh, uh, we work with, has told us either we, we, we take their children home or we keep them, but when visitors come, we don't allow them to come and mingle up with them as you used to do. But what about waving out the window? So it, it, is, it may not be possible for us to bring them to you, but if you go around to see our environment, you will see one of them hanging around and they can wave to you. Yes, I know. Obroni Akwaba, right? And that's what I'm saying now. Uh, is there any way we can physically see them, even if they're across I over said there? When, 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 when we take you around, you will see you them. Said we said like one or two. I'm talking about... No, you, you, uh, because you, they will not be able to come to you, you will see them. Okay, there. perfect. Yes. That will work. We have four strong security men 
taking care of this place, drawn from five battalions of Ghana Armed Forces, uh, Accra. So the security here is not a joke. We also have five grounds for people who help us to keep the, the compound tidy for conducive uh, 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 living. So we have five people who do that. And then I said we have 47 of these children. We have five houses where these children are living in. In each of the house, we have a mother taking care of them. So in each house, we have, we have about eight of them, six, seven of them, with a mother taking care of them. We, we don't want to go beyond 10 in a house. We are saying that because in our local settings, you, 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 you go to a family and you have a couple with 10 children. That is, that is uncommon here. Yes, it's, it's, it's something that, no, it's common here. When, uh, when, you get, when you get to the traditional homes, you, you, you come across parents. Some of them have 12 children, some of them have 10. And so we, we have that in view that as children come in here, we will make them to feel like they are living in their own homes. So we provide that home settings for, for, for them. So we have five taking care of them. And then we have a social relations officer who lives between the home and the, and, 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 and the general public. If anyone wants to come in, if anyone wants to come and make donations, if anyone wants to come and you know, make any inquiries, she's the one that you will first stop at and, 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 and she will provide you with the necessary information that you need to know. But for, for your coming, we liaise with the Nana because Nana is a member of the board. The, 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 the board taking care of this space is one of them. So he will not need to go through the protocol for uh, if you want to come in or if you want to bring in visitors. So he walks straight to this space with all protocols taking care of this. I'm happy to let you know that with your coming, we have the bishop of the of the Winnipeg Diocese of the Methodist Church Ghana, the one who sits in chair to ensure that what is being done at this place is done pro properly, and we also ensure that the Methodist churches within this enclave are properly managed. And I'm happy to let you know that he is here with us just to see you and to welcome you to his uh, 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 t territory. And, and maybe I hope he, he has a words of assurance for, for you and how you can work with him to make this place a better home for all of us. Uh, permit me to introduce him to you, and he is the person of right, Reverend Pa Solomon. He is our bishop. So, Lana, I'm going to be bishop. Why are you here? We want to know the reason for which you come this afternoon to, to, to see us. And then, after that, bishop will give a word. <coughs> I'm pleased to call upon to inform the whole metatech manner, particularly the village, why I'm here with my brothers and sisters from diaspora. And now they may not be called diaspora again. My brother is there from Jahari. Be sure for me, please, to say that. Uh, they are my brothers and sisters who have shown much interest to come back and stay with us in Ghana, That's particularly in Ghana. <laughs> and 
In the Bible, I cannot put. They are not the prodigals. But in the Bible, it's a prodigal son who decided to take the property of his father. While the father was still alive, the father gave him. He left. He spent all those things. He became so poor, have nowhere to sleep, and decided to come back. <clears throat> you have taken everything. Why are you coming back again? But when he came, the fault that the father was not given to the children who was, were even serving him, he decided that he prepared that fault for that for the castle. Bishop, they are not for the children. They are people who have dreamt and foreseen that they have a home. So they cannot be taken for right at where they want to go and work and that they are coming home. I must give them the better food than the food they give to that for the castle. And for that matter, I have allocated a place for them to come and stay permanently. And I have also immediately to allocate a place for them, as you are saying, must work. To put up industries and work, earn money, and live happily. So I have allocated about 100 acres land that who, any of them who want to put up industry or put up a, a business or whatever, I will locate the place for the person to put up that business. Bishop, they came last year through one Mr. Abaka, a nice gentleman from Sokon. A brother to is a chief. But he decided to visit Jahade. I think Jahade is blessed. And when he came, the first time he came to me, interacted with me, he, he, he felt so marvelous that a chief will not go down so that he, the way I'm welcoming him, he said, no, 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 I will stay here. I will let the people come and stay here. If the people have a peace, he being leading them will also be praised and have peace. Bishop, I used to have come. And then I have other facilities around. I might show them that this is my town. So some of them came around, they saw your facility. They didn't tell me anything. But when they were coming, short time, Abakan told me that they have few things to test waters and see if they will be accepted in your facility. I said, why not? I said, hey, Ghana, do I'm a colleague, but I'm with them. So let's go and see them. Whatever you have, give it to them. And listen to their problems, listen to their, whatever they will say, and go and think about it. And today, they are with us. How they are with us, I have to bring them here. Though I'm a board member, I fall on uh, Reverend, as he said, protocols are there. I didn't pass through the protocol. But I'm also thankful for Reverend to allow me to go through back door to come here. <laughs> <laughs> Bishop, if they have come to visit you, they are not my visitors alone. They are also your visitors. Anything within your means to help them to feel happy to stay, one hand cannot close the eyes of God. Anyway, this one is the literal English. <laughs> <laughs> so I cannot do everything alone. It needs a lot of people to help me, to help my people to stay and feel happy that they are in their home. Security, health, migration, custom, everything. It is my responsibility to ensure that they don't find one thing wherever they find themselves. And where I know, Bishop, you may know places more better than I do. 
So they are here to join us to develop entire jihadi community, including your community. Bishop, today I'm so glad, so happy. Today I should have been in my workplace. I decided to stay around to ensure that this occasion happens in my presence. Here are your children, your brothers and sisters, who have come from a poor, uh, America, where Trump is shouting like a lion. <laughs> but we have our home. So if you are a lion, let me go to where my antelopes and then the rat and those people are there. They don't make noise. We stay around. If they come here and we also shout on them, that means they are disappointed. They are here with us, not that they are coming and go. They are coming to stay. Probably they will go and come, but they are staying in Jahazi and for them are Ghana. So, Bishop, that is why we are here. Friends, we are uh, grateful for the inputs that Jahazi has. That I has given. Let me tell you one thing. He said he has given you land and he's ready to give land. And I want to say that that is a fact. Because he gave us the land that we are sitting on. If Methodist Rafiki Satellite Village is here, it's because he provided the land. We didn't have it. And when it became necessary for us to build a home like this, our problem, our challenge was land, and he willingly and freely and graciously gave us a 20-acre land on which we are sitting. And so for him to say that he'll give you land, no fears, get to him, he'll give you some. Thank you very much, Mama. Um, we are grateful to you. We are also grateful to you for coming, and especially your decision to come and live amongst us. Um, we are brothers, and uh, we know that when you take a decision to help an individual, you are helping the whole community, especially when you have decided to bring these items to the marginalized. We are grateful. There is a scripture in the Old Testament which says in precisely in Proverbs chapter 11 verse 24. It says that one man gives freely and he continues to be richer. Another man withholds more than necessary and he will be poorer. So by the word of God which I believe so much for what you have given us. If the Lord does not give it back to you in this, he will give it to you in the form of longevity. Yes. If he doesn't give it to you in the form of longevity, he will give it to you in the form of excellent health. And if he does not do that, I know he will give it to you in what theology will call it holistic prosperity. Prosperity that will encompass every aspect that will touch on your welfare and your well-being. And I pray that as Nana has promised, we know, uh, we, are, we are told in our proverb, in our local palace, that if you want to go to somewhere, you contact the person who has been there before. You don't contact somebody who wants to be there. Nana has already been here. He has already promised and redeemed his promise. So you know the promise that he has given you, you will definitely redeem it. We pray that the Lord himself will continue to give you the needed divine protection so that your stay here will be fruitful and enjoyable. We pray that he himself continue to protect you from every danger 
so that your joy will be full. You also pray that as you live amongst us, you will begin to learn what we call the Ghanaian hospitality. Everywhere you go, you will realize that people will open their hands and receive you. Therefore, on this note, even though you have been welcomed already, on behalf of the presiding bishop of the Methodist Church, Ghana, Most Reverend Dr. Kavna Buaf, and on behalf of the director of this institution, very Reverend Dr. Nana Bakan, and on my behalf, we say you are welcome. And in our local parlance, by this time, you might have heard it one or twice. Akwaba. Yeah. Uh, Friends, one of the things that we will quickly do is for us to take you to see what we have at Methodist Refugee Satellite Build. And we will ask the social relations officer, Mrs. Rejoice, therefore, soon to you know, lead you and to show you what we have. And also to impress upon you that even as you prepare a place to live, you prepare a place also here, that when, when you are feeling hot, wherever you are living, you run down here to, 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 to cool yourself. Yeah, so, uh, uh, Auntie Joyce. Or, or run to the beach. <laughs> no, you run to the beach, but you, you find out that the place is hot. This place is cool. <laughs> Friends, this is Mrs. Fossil. And Mrs. Fossil has been here since the inception of this uh, 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 institution. One lovely thing about her is that she was a senior housemistress as a director of education, but for what we are doing here, she resigned from that uh, lucrative po uh, uh, job and, and came over to help set up this place. And we bless God for her life. If it, it has not been her, I, I don't know where we, we would have been. She's very, very good. And as you think about how to develop people, think about how to develop her too. <laughs> she, she will have more energy and, and, and the ability to do the work that God has called her to do. So, Madam, the yeah, eye in your hands now. Thank you, Dad. Please, starting from this place, this is our assembled ground. We hold our service here on every Sunday. As we can see, our pockets and our grounds. That one, don't worry that it's called. We have a very good one here. They use those ones to learn how to play, the little ones. When you become an expert, then we move you to the next one. And we have the small organ. They use it to learn. When you become an expert, you move on to the next one. Behind us is our kitchen. We have a staff that cooks for the children when school is in session. When school is in session, the children are about 264. And all these ones will have to eat because we can't tell our children, come and eat and leave them behind. So the village feeds them every lunch when school is in session. So please, we can continue. Thank you for the Monique, can I see what you got? Number some. No, you put them in the bag. All right, I'll put it right here. All right, family, this is not laid out like you usually like it, but these are a collection of clothes, school supplies. And there's more in the bag. Uh, it's over 120 pounds of clothing and school supply. And these bags, we need need back that one. Yeah, this yeah, one can it, stay. Take it. I want a bag to come. 
Alright, I'm going to take this uh, great mining walk hey. family of the uh, community. I'm going to take a car.